For this challenge problem, we're basically creating a catalog that we can get orders from. So, right now we have a dictionary that has a catalog number and then the name of the item. And so what we want to do is to create another dictionary that has the same items with the same keys, but instead of having the values be the name of the items, we should have them be the price. So let's call this um, catalog of item names. And call this catalog of item prices. All right, we can set our own prices, but it looks like this is already guessed what we want. So here's the same keys, 1008, 1008, 2149, 2149. And then the prices are values as decimal numbers. So widgets looks like are $25. Flanges, let's make them be a little bit cheaper, $1.50. Smoke shifter, hmm, I guess a hundred dollars is good for a smoke shifter. Poyutes are cheap, let's leave them at a dollar. Okay, great. Now, let the user type in a catalog number, then print the name of the item and its price. All right, catalog number, please input, please enter a catalog number. Okay, so that's the prompt, and then whatever number they type in will be put into the variable catalog number. Now, one question is, do I need to convert this from a string into a number? I think the answer to that is no, because some of the catalog numbers actually are not numbers. This one has an X in it. And they're also in quotation marks. So even though these look like numbers, they're actually strings. So I think it's fine to leave it as a string. So now what we need to do is to print the name and price of the chosen item. All right, you chose A. So the we pass the key that they chose, the key which is the catalog number, into the catalog dictionary, and that's going to give us the corresponding name. And then the price, catalog number, uh, as the key from the price dictionary. And I don't know why this is in here. We don't need this. And it is going to prepend a dollar sign in front of the prices before printing. We don't want the dollar signs in the dictionary because we might want to do calculations on this. Let's see if this works. All right, let's pick a smoke shifter. Hmm. Key error, smoke shifter. Oh, I was supposed to put the catalog number in. Oops. Smoke shifter is catalog number 19x5. You chose a smoke shifter, which costs $100. Now, one thing that I don't like is that there's a space between the dollar sign and the 100. That happens because of the comma that I put in here. If I want to get rid of that, then I'm going to need to concatenate the price directly to the dollar sign. And I can't concatenate it as long as it is a number. These are numbers here. So if I want to do that, I'll have to convert this into a string. 
and then I'm able to use a plus sign and concatenate it. Let's try that. Uh, let's buy a widget catalog number 1008. We chose a widget which costs $25. Okay, it uh, dropped the last zero, and there's a way that I could fix that, but that's beyond the scope of this problem here. <laughs> 